Hello, my beautiful darlings. How are you? I'm sitting in my nighty. <laughs> I've dragged myself to do this because I don't want to let you down. Um, you've got to know that every single video that I do is because what people have asked for through messaging, inboxing and um, yeah, emailing. And I did promise I'd do this. Because I, oh, sorry, I can't remember your name, darling. Um, but one person keeps saying, please do it, please do it. Oh, God, I can't remember your name, sorry. Um, and loads of others have asked also whether I can do a Scorpio reading. And I'm aware, very aware, that it ends the 22nd of um, November. So I'm going to do a quick one for you now. I, I think what it is, is it's a positive reason that I'm feeling like hell. And in agony, um, I had, because a number of you, bless you, I do take on board everything you say. It's just sometimes I don't get back to you um, or I don't reply to you. It doesn't mean I haven't read stuff. It's just crazy busy. And um, now I've got Lorraine um, taking over. Louise was like, found it really difficult. And I found it difficult to give her the time to get, it's so overwhelming, you know, the emails that come in. So um, Lorraine's on board now. And she kept sending me these, these things going, I think you should listen to this voice. And I'm like, I think I should. And so many of you said, have you tried the craniosacral therapy? Now, I've tried every single therapy in the whole wide world, right? Um, I've been everywhere, travelled there, I've spent a fortune, I've saved and saved and then spent it on the next amazing thing that's going to rid you of fibromyalgia and ME. And um, so I thought, right, the voice is there, I'm going to listen to it. You know, I do do this stuff. I do do this stuff. I don't just sit here and go, oh, I've got it and just leave it at that. And um, I had, I met this most incredible man. For anybody that's local to here, Nick in um, Totnes, Fullerton. And, oh, my God, I just, do you know when I, you say, I said it a lot at the GSIC conference, I see you. I walked in, I went, oh, my God, I see you. So I was like, namaste. He's such, his energy was incredible. Right, and I'm not going to lie. I'm to totally digress now on this reading, but I'm not going to lie, right? I thought, mm, it's just going to be it, the inside of me, because I've been let down for 12 years on everything I've tried, you know, from acupuncture to spending thousands on this homeopathic sachet powder stuff or whatever anyway um <laughs> i thought yeah this is going to be thank you very much and then i'm just going to go kind of back to zero one um so anyway he just if you ever had it right they just hold you and his hands were red hot red hot right and then there was this like pulse energy i thought i recognize that as healing energy pulsing through different parts of my sacrum right up to like my neck and my head and it was beautiful very relaxing and he's got the most perfect energy and i always love that feeling when healers are here because it feels like you are hitting like a sauna front it's like hot and uh, hot and i don't know it's a weird feeling and i thought oh my god like uh, this man is amazing so he then said there was a lot of release to be honest with you he said so you're gonna have a bit of discomfort <laughs> a bit of discomfort fluff <laughs> me I've been walking around like a bloody, do you, know, for, do you know, Miss Overalls, Mrs. Overalls, Julie Waters, God bless her soul. I'm like being hunched over walking like holy fluff. And um, <laughs> and this is the first day I've been able to actually kind of walk around quite normally. And I message him, he goes, it's just a release, just got to be kind to yourself. So I've like relaxed a bit, let Lorraine take all of the admin and I haven't been able to do anything. Um, but I really need to do this reading for you, so I've got up to do it. Plus, I also, thank you, Paul, if you're watching, um, recommended me going to Earthing Revolution for an Earthing mat. I've got to say, I slept like a, I've had it, it delivered within a day, and I actually um, slept like a log last night. Darren said that his shoulder and his knee, he felt so much better, and I woke up feeling a lot better. I don't care if it's a placebo or not, that Earthing mat. Anyway, I'm going to talk more about that and I'm going to contact Jen, who is the person behind birthing the um, concept of earthing revolution. It's earthing mats and um, yoga mats, flip flops, pillows. It's just and I never, you know, because I've been so disappointed in the past, I've never really invested in a lot of stuff recently because I just think I've had enough of trying everything. Watch this space. I'll give you an update on the earthing mats because... Now, if they can help people with chronic conditions, I'll be a happy bunny. Anyway, let's get with the reading now. 
It's like when you get on with it already. You've just wasted five minutes. QR tarot cards. If you don't know what these are about, have a look in the bottom bit. You just literally click on the QR code and it gives you the definitions. So they're the ones I'm going to be using today in case you didn't recognise them. That's the only reason I'm describing them. So let's have a look for you Scorpios, my little darlings, my little watery, watery people. Lots of people think you've got a sting in your tail. I like Scorpios. You kind of like, you carry on no matter what, you know, no matter what overwhelms you, you just keep going. Yes, there can be a fiery tail, but there's a reason for it. It's like any animal, you know, if it stings or if it attacks, there's a reason for it. Defence or what it's had happen in its life. Um, so yeah, we love Scorpios. I love water signs. Virgos really do attract water signs, especially Pisces. Especially Pisces. Thank you. Okay, can I have above? Thank you. Below. I'm doing it live so that you don't think I've put them down. Um, yeah, let's do that. And yeah, I'm going to say about this actually because it's piss me off a bit I'm not gonna lie that's you know a couple of crappy comments on the joe biden video i said i thought i was going to shut my mouth but obviously i can't because you know i keep it real you, you do realize right for the people that put the comments on about me getting on a political rally that i'm just doing it because you've asked for it this is your channel right so i go with what the mass people ask for and so I don't care about leaders or politicians. They're just lying, reptilian assholes, all of them. Sorry, but they are. And, you know, I just don't believe that we have, we actually choose our leaders. I don't believe that. I think it's all orchestrated. And my, my crown chakra is fizzing now. So, you know, that's what I stand by. And so I've never had negative comments ever on my YouTube channels, but a couple of you are like, oh, you're off and you don't know what you're talking about. This, I don't care. I don't care. Skip the video if you don't like it. I did it because you asked for it, okay? And it's just for entertainment purposes only, all right? The channeling isn't. The channeling is me bringing messages to humanity. So I won't have anybody say anything about the channeling. However really and you know what i know you know part of me said oh you know it's only about four comments out of 500 but it's still i always like everybody you always still concentrate on the people that you know are upset or say something that's a bit derogatory and i'm like i'm doing my best here i've been doing this for 12 years trying to reach you all and suddenly now that um it's gone up a bit and I'm trying to please everybody. I'm starting to get comments of, oh, don't do this, don't do that. I'm like, oh, do you know what? Oh, I can't win. And I'm now sitting here in my nighty because I'm so worried that I'm gonna miss the Scorpio people that have asked for their Scorpio reading. So, you know, the people that, have, this is not the people that have done all the lovely stuff because you are beautiful. The people who put negative comments on, give me a break, can ya? I'm trying. I'm gonna shut up now and get on with the reading. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it, you know, I suppose we, someone's going to say, oh, no, you shouldn't have said that. Do you know what? I, I am, I do keep it real. I'm not sitting here to be, uh, I'm just going to get on with it. Right, Scorpios, let's have a little look. I'm doing the Celtic cross reading. Again, I don't know if you want to see me show you the cards or you want the camera on the card reading. Let me know. OK, in the comments below, when I do tarot readings, do you want a camera over my shoulder to see the cards or are you happy with me just showing you them? All right. Let me know, darlings. OK, these are for the people that are happy and appreciate my videos. <laughs> Fluff me. I'm too sensitive. That's my thing. I should. Do you know what? You know, I'm going to get more and more of this, aren't I? I had enough of it on TikTok. That's why I don't really go on there a lot now. And um, I just think, really, I don't need this. I'm trying my best. And so I've got to clear it. Clear it, Nick. Okay. And this is what you got. This is what you got to do, Scorpions. <laughs> your current situation at the moment is you're the king of swords. Now, there's a negative and a positive trait to this card, okay? So what's happening here is, is that you have got it sussed some of you have got it intellectually sussed what i'm not feeling it though right some of you have got it intellectually sussed where you have cut the emotion out and you found a place in your life where you've done everything you can for yourself right so you haven't worried about other people you haven't 
made emotional decisions based on everybody else and all oh, what am I going to do and use your ego you've actually used your intellect and your instinct you've kind of gone with your you know your solar plexus or your heart and thought no this is what I'm going to do so some of you are in a really good space at the moment however I feel that I need to concentrate more on the people that need to do this OK, I feel like there's still decisions or things going on in your life that are trapping you moving forward or spreading your wings because you're too emotionally involved in things, if that makes sense. So I feel like you need to start making some discerning decisions um, for your greater good. And if it means cutting away from people or situations, then do it, if that makes sense. OK, um, that's rich just phoned me i would suspect he's saying that we've most probably sold out um on our evening of mediumship yeah i think it is um so thank you for everybody i look forward to seeing you on the 1st of december so this is what's happening with the king of swords at the moment okay let's see what the clarify this is what's hindering you <clears throat> magician on the major arcana now this is all about manifesting what you need or what you can accomplish in your life okay and i feel like I, I was right with my intuition here because i feel like this is on the hindering position so this means that you're not quite going or manifesting or on the right path for what you need to get because i feel that you are emotionally connected to things now for an example um just say for instance you've got someone oh god let's just say you're in a job right and you love the job but the person who's in charge of it is a complete wally right and um you're like oh yeah but i don't want to upset them because they have been good to me you know they have given me bonuses but i've been offered this other job right and you're, you're emotionally connecting yourself to the person when it's none of your business what's happening with them and i don't mean that in a rude way but so many people that i've spoken to thousands of people over the years in this in this work environment where they said you know perhaps they're with an alcoholic and they don't want to leave them because you know they can't or they're with someone they don't love and um, but they don't want to leave them because they'll be on their own. But what you're actually doing is you're stopping that person from living their true path by delaying something through ego. Does that make sense? And so basically, someone's just come in here. I don't know if you noticed anything then. Just let me know. Um, so basically, you need to start cutting out the BS. All right, you know, um, cutting out the BS here and seeking your truth. Um, you know, the Queen of Queen of Swords is someone that. Is literally got it sussed. I love her, but now you've got the King of Swords, so you're near the end of getting what you want out of life in respect of you know the next few years. So, if there's anything emotionally holding you back through fear, doubt, or worry, cut it out and just go with your instinct. Okay, go with your instinct because at the moment you're stopping yourself manifesting what you actually want out of your life. Okay, so this is the energy that's around you at the moment, my watery little darlings. Oh, see, the chariot. So there are a couple of choices you need to make here, but you need to, once you've made the decision, okay, the diverse decision, it's like, well, it's like yin and yang. Do I go here? Do I go there? Once you, this is a cancer, sign of cancer. So this is a watery sign, all right? So this is basically saying, stick with your decision, cut away what you don't need and stick with it and just go with this. It's all about willpower and determination and going through adversity, you know, come what may, do it. So this may be saying that even if it's a difficult decision to make just grit your teeth and do it do you know what you get that feeling of doom if you've got to go to the dentist you know you've got to have a tooth out right and you think oh and every time you think of it your stomach turns this is kind of the environment i'm feeling in certain aspects of your life okay so just grit your teeth and do it grit your teeth and do it whether it needs conversations with someone you know clearing the path with someone or um you know putting all the cards on the table just it's literally all about getting the truth out there and just you know there's an elephant in the room that's what it feels like and stick with it no matter how you know adverse it gets stick with it okay okay now this is your underlying subconscious energy this is what is actually driving you at the moment you just want peace you just want love um you just want to be emotionally connected um hang on a minute darlings i'm gonna have to hello darling as suspected that was richard my brother phoning to say that we've sold out overnight 
um, on our evening on the 1st of December. So don't be disappointed if you didn't get a ticket. We'll get another one or a ticket, but entry into it. But we will um, do another one. Literally, it's sold out at the early hours of this morning. So it's trying to stop any more um, things going through. So sorry about that little um, doodah. What do you call it? Oh, I don't know. I can't think of words. I'm just going to carry on with the reading. So you just want to like um, either look on life in a more romantic eyes. Perhaps you want to look for love. Perhaps there's offers of love coming in. Perhaps you are in a relationship that you think it's not right and you have met someone else. I don't know. But, um, you know, I'm just looking at the cups on this rather than the page because I'm, I'm, I'm looking. I've been asking in my mind. Um, what other things perhaps that you might be in a quandary about that you're worried that you're going to emotionally upset the balance whereas really you need to grit your teeth and just do it it's a bit of tough love I feel that you need to be doing now um, but it's all for the greater good you're good at doing this you, you're resilient darlings you can do this so get that little towel ready to sting if someone wants to sting back but it needs to be done truth needs to be sorted and you need to find your seek your personal truth do you know what I mean by that? Look, see? So look, you've got the sun card coming up. Now this is in the past. So it's not that you're totally miserable, some of you. You know, you have got a very happy life, but I feel like I'm looking back at that um, and thinking I want that again. I feel like it's been lost along the way. Does that make sense? Let me know in the comments below, darlings. I just feel like everything was great and breezy and wonderful. And I will do a clarifier on that later. Everything was great. I'm going to do my little baby tarot because I love my baby tarot. Look at my little baby tarots. They don't look like babies on here, do they? <laughs> right, but I just feel um, that everything was just really great. And then suddenly it's all going a bit wrong. And I don't know if that's someone like who's taking the mickey out of you a bit or things have gone a bit sour in a situation. But I just feel that, yeah, look, just look at the look at the size difference. Oh, look, the little baby ones. Oh. Right, okay. So, um, yeah, so I feel like you want that back. You want to feel this beaming sunshine that everybody wants a piece of because everything's going so right in your life. I just feel like it hasn't quite gone that way. This is your near future. Oh, my God. So this is for the advice for the people that um, are worried about either changing their job or making decisions to do with home, security, career, work, anything like that, money. This really is, you've got, you've got the money coming. Make the decision because it's really good. But some of you um, may be waiting for you to have money balance and that everything is like on an even keel. And it's coming. That's really good fortuitous card to have um, for your near future. So if any of you are waiting like for money or waiting for a career change, waiting for that promotion, it looks like it's going to come in for you. You've just got to be patient. However, ask yourself, is there anything you need to change to accomplish that? Is there anything you need to cut out um, for you to accomplish that? But the fundamental cards without the ego are very, very, very positive because you've got the sun next to the king of swords, the highest of the courts of the swords. Queen of Pentacles, that's a really strong basis there. So you've got everything you need. You just need to make perhaps some little decisions that are a bit going to be a bit tough on some people. This is your advice cards, my little scorpions. Third party agreements for money. So this is going back to this money thing again because it leads on from the Queen of Pentacles. So if you're thinking about branching out, if you're thinking about going into business with someone or allowing a third party in to help accumulate business or career decisions or, you know, in your own business or you're thinking of branching out, go for it. Because this is a card of networking and corresponding with other people for you to continue this journey on you making money or getting a successful business. So, yes, go for it. If there's people coming in that are offering that, take it and see what they've got to offer for you. And there's decisions to be made here. So this is beyond your control. There will be decisions for you to make. I knew it. I thought this was all about this. So when we come to this card, OK, the Seven of Cups, it's all about decisions. And if you look, look, you've got the Victory Reef there um, in one of the cups. And remember, look, this is Cancer Pisces Scorpio, the cups. It's your cards. The cups are your cards, right? So you've got like you've got a slippery snake there, or you've got victory there, or you've got uh, should I, I need to think about this card. So all of these cards are basically got these options, okay? 
and it's asking for you to make the right decisions. So the, the essence of what I want to say is be the king of swords, make the decisions through intellect and through your solar plexus, through your intuition and not what your mind tells you that you should be doing. I know that intellect and mind is the same thing. What I'm trying to say is, is that emotionally you might be thinking, oh my God, I can't do this because Richard's going to be really upset. I'm only saying Richard because he's the first name that's coming to me because I just spoke to him, right? Um, but then it's like, yeah, but if I don't do that, I'm going to stop myself from getting where I need to go. Do you know what I mean? Make the decisions wisely. Make Do not make them from ego. Do not do them as a quick fix and take the easy route. Okay, it may be a harder route. And this is incredible because it's coming up with my channeling with Catherine. You wait till you see that. Okay, so this is all about um, make the right decisions for the greater good and for the longer term and what is right for you. Okay. This is hopes and fears. Yeah, you hope there is definitely some angle with money or, or work or career with you at the moment, Scorpions, because you've got the Page of Pentacles and he is completely focused on making that money and making something of himself. You know, if you look, there may be a couple of um, mountains he's got to cross, but that's fine. He's furrowed his land, he's ready to sow the seeds and he's focused on nothing but making that money or making that home secure or thinking about his family. He just wants to do what is right for him and his family. So it's another backup. You've got another pentacle card there. It could involve, because you've got the pentacles, you've got the three, you've got the queen and you've got this, um, which could be um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo could be involved in this. Or it purely is just because this is all about you thinking about money. Um, and it's not a egotistical, I've got to have loads of money or greed. It's just about, you know, I deserve to have a living where I'm not worried about where my, you know, where, where the next food bill goes out. Okay, so literally focus on that and what decisions you have to make to get this and that, do it. Final outcome, page of wands, absolutely perfect. So this is about you going out and getting what you want, aspiring to what you want. You are going towards, and again, you know, this doesn't have to be the money. There's two ways. Remember, this is a general reading. So you take what resonates from it. But this is also about you getting and aspiring to what you want to achieve in your life to make you feel happy. So whether this is relationships, because we have had a little touch on the cups there for emotional status and love with a page of cups. So I'm just wondering... Um, if you are perhaps thinking about changing a relationship or going for what you want, okay? The ones is all about your dreams, desires, your goals. And so this is saying you will, you will get there. You will get there. The page is a tiny bit weak though. I would have preferred, you know, a king or a queen um, or even a knight coming in to offer you that. But the page is you coming up with new ideas, coming up with new ways to actually... Uh, make yourself more comfortable either emotionally as we've seen in the cups or materially with the pentacles okay i'm just going to keep getting pentacles i know it so just us on the positive outcome so this is about um balancing money so some of you may be worried about money okay look at this look jesus you got another wand right so this has just dropped out i didn't even see that so with this on the potential outcome this is about don't get too frivolous and think oh, i can't spend anything and make yourself miserable but on the second account don't overspend this is all about budgeting and keeping a healthy balance on your monetary income outgoings okay don't make it the master because on the set the two of wands we're opening horizons here we're creating concepts from ideas into materializing some sort of idea or business or way forward and so you're doing really well don't let the need for money or the panic of that judge your way forward okay it's really hard isn't it because we've got christmas coming up and the rest of it and you're like christ but um it just feels like the answer is there for you. The answer is there. And um, you know that if you do that, you're going to be better off. That's what I feel. What was it about the sun? Yeah, it's like I feel like you've had so many battles. I've just asked about the sun and if, is it still there for you? You know, because this was actually in the past position. This is actually in the past position. And I think you're just battle weary. You know, you've just had so many 
battles with someone and it's been such hard work that you've created a fence around yourself and you know as you can see it's got like the bandage on his head it's like oh do you know what? i've just had enough it was really good to begin with but now it's not so for whatever reason it isn't that's what you've got to change okay tell me about the queen of pentacles near future please tell me about the queen of pentacles near future Oh my God, I don't need to do anything. This is it. Look, Jesus, look, you've got the star card. You've got wishes and dreams fulfilled. Some of you might even be thinking of going online or you are online or you're doing things for public um, reasons, you know? Some, you know. This sometimes represents a celebrity card or the fact that you've got like a public following or you're thinking of marketing or getting out there to the public okay but whatever it is i'm telling you you will get this you will get the money coming in you will get career satisfaction you will get this work home security environment because let's face it on the material plane you know the 3d world we basically have money to make us feel comfortable put a roof over our head it's that simple and so for those that are worried about it it is coming and for those that are working towards expanding that and making more opportunity you're going to get that as well because you've got the star card major arcana wishes fulfilled dreams come true so there you have it my scorpion friends i really hope you've enjoyed that let me know in the comments what resonates with you and how it made sense just be a, bit, be a bit strong, deal with things that need to be dealt with and put yourself first for a change. And that's really hard because most people that watch this channel are empaths and sensitives and we do not like upsetting people, do we? We'd rather upset ourselves and other people. But you know what? Big girl, big boy pants time. Things need to change because when they do, you are hitting the ground running. I really hope you've enjoyed this. I'm sending you so much love. Sorry for my little rant, but do you know what? I'm human as well and I'm trying my best and um, I always will. Take care, my darlings, and welcome to all the new subscribers as well. God bless. Oh, and of course, it goes without saying, I adore all the current subscribers as well and I never forget the fact that you have supported me for years and years and years. Even when I was down in bed, you were still there. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, I will never, ever stop being grateful. Anyway, have a good day. I'll speak to you again very soon. Lots of love.